students of class 8 in our previous class we have studied to find out the rational numbers between two rational numbers where we have find many rational number at a time between two rational number but in this class we will learn another method to find rational number here we will find one rational number at a time the method the name of the method is called average method na so all of you know that the average of two number lie between the two number for that take example of any two number suppose 2 and 4 okay this average of of 2 and 4 will be equals to 2 plus 4 divided by 2 that is 2 plus 4 6 by 2 is equals to 2 is a 6 equals to 3 so the average of 2 and 4 is 3 which lies between 2 and 4 3 lies between 2 and 4 okay we will use this as a method to find the rational number between two rational number so let us take a question find one rational number between 1 by 3 and 2 by 3 okay so for that we will first we will find the average of 1 by 3 and 2 by 3 so average of 1 by 3 and 2 by 3 will be equals to sum of the number 1 by 3 plus 2 by 3 divided by 2 here in the numerator the lcm will be 3 and and here we will have 1 plus 2 divided by 2 that is 3 by 3 divided by 2 3 will get cancel with 3 and we will get 1 by 2 so now we can say that this 1 by 2 will lie between 1 by 3 and 2 by 3 by average method so this 1 by 2 is a rational number rational number between 1 by 3 and 2 by 3 okay now this can uh, this type of question can be done by average method now we can have some different problems like look at the example we will take a question find a rational number between let's say 1 by 2 and 
2 by 3. Here, if we look at the question carefully, the denominator is not same. So, to compare the two numbers, first we shall make the denominator same. To make the denominator same, we will take the, we will find the LCM of the denominators. Okay. Here, the LCM of denominator that is LCM of 2 and 3 will be equals to 6. So, we have to make the denominator of this 2 rational number 6. So, to make it, let us say we can write 1 by 2 equals to we have to make the denominator 6 here. So, we will multiply 2 by 3 and the denominator will become the denominator become 6. So, if we multiply 3 in the denominator, we have to multiply 3 at the numerator also. Na? Then, the two numbers will be equivalent. Okay. We have studied it in our chapter number 1. So, here 1 by 2 we will get equals to 2 3 is a 6 and 1 3 is a 3. That means 1 by 2 is equals to 3 by 6. Similarly, for 2 by 3, for 2 by 3, we can write it. We can multiply the denominator 3 by 2 to get 6 in the denominator and also we have to multiply 2 in the numerator and in this way we will get 2 by 3 equals to 4 by 6. So, our rational number 1 by 2, our rational number 1 by 2 now became 3 by 6 and our rational number 2 by 3 now became 4 by 6. Now, can we find any rational number between these two? That is 3 by 6 and 4 by 6. Now, to find out the rational number between 3 by 6 and 4 by 6, we can go through two methods. The first method that we have studied in our earlier class and the second method that we have learned today. I will prefer the method 1. So, by this method, 3 by 6 can again be written as we can multiply any number. We need a rational number that is 1 rational number. So, we will multiply the denominator by 2. That is, if we multiply 6 by 2, we will have to multiply the numerator by 2 and we will get 3 by 6 equals to 6 by 12. And similarly, for 4 by 6, we will multiply the denominator 6 by 2 and also the numerator 4 by 2 and we will get 8 by 12. Now, clearly, between 6 by 12 and 8 by 12, we have 7 by 12, which is a rational number. Now I can write that this 7 by 12 is a rational number between one by two and 2 by 3 as 7 by 12 as this 7 by 12 lies between this 6 by 12 and 8 by 12 which are equivalent to 3 by 6 and 4 by 6 which again are equivalent to 1 by 2 and 2 by 3 hence we can write 7 by 12 is a rational number between 1 by 2 and 
टू बाई थ्री ओके थैंक यू स्टूडेंट्स इफ यू हैव एनी प्रॉब्लम रिगार्डिंग दिस क्वेश्चन यू कैन आस्क मी ऑन व्हाट्सएप थैंक यू हैव ए नाइस डे